Are you ready? Yeah! Then give me an M! M! O! R! I! D! D! A! A! Y! Y! What you got? Friday! Have a 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 Happy Friday, come on! Good morning, Indian Creek. <clears throat> At this time, please take a moment of silence to reflect on the anticipated activities of the day. Thank you so much. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey, once again, good morning, everybody. It is a wonderful, happy Friday morning. And it is September 3rd. Here are your announcements. So first of all, uh, today is an A day for Connections. So you'll be attending your second, fourth, and sixth period classes for Connections today. This is a reminder to everybody of the safety protocols that are currently in place. Masks are currently mandatory at all areas of the building uh, inside and out, making sure that you are wearing them except when you're eating or drinking. Once again, when you are having lunch, please do not have conversations without your masks on because that does us no good. Make sure that you're keeping your distance as much as possible, at least three feet, preferably six, and then wash or sanitize your hands as often as you can. Uh, let's all do our part to keep each other safe. Hey, just a reminder, um, and teachers, please remind your students this, for anyone who arrives after um, nine o'clock, gets to school after nine o'clock, whether you're a car rider or a bus rider, uh, please make sure that you check in in the front office, okay? Get a pass to class. We need to make sure uh, that you've been marked present, and that's really the only way that we're going to get accurate attendance. So um, we don't want to make phone calls home for people who are here uh, but have been marked absent. Remember that starting September the 20th, the cafeteria staff is going to begin asking students to use their lunch numbers again. Uh, so if you have not memorized your lunch number, make sure that you do that. You just have a few more days, 14 to be exact. Or sorry, 16 to be exact. Uh, the softball team dismantled Davis last evening, 18 to 4. Uh, that moves the Panthers into second place um, in, uh, in the league. And we are one game behind Clements, who current, or sorry, one game behind Cousins, who is currently in first place with a record of three and zero. Oh. Here's the table for what it looks like. The Panthers will play their next home game Wednesday at home versus Edwards at 5 p.m. Make sure that you get your tickets on GoFan so that you can attend the game. That is next Wednesday at 5 p.m. We will be broadcasting the game on our Twitch channel, uh, ICMS Athletics. Um, so we'll share that information out on our Twitter page. All right, the next two football games. 
one has been canceled, the other has been postponed till we hear back from the other team uh, to find out if we can reschedule the game. Therefore, our first official game will kick off against Memorial right here at the Creek on Wednesday, September the 15th at 5 p.m. Again, make sure that we pack the house as much as we can. We can only have about 250 people here. Uh, tickets will be on sale uh, very soon on um, our GoFan app. All right. If there are any of you that are interested in joining FFA, please make sure that you stop by to see Miss Thaxton in room D11. FFA is a, gr a great way to learn leadership skills, get a knowledge of agriculture, learn about healthy living, build self-confidence, learn good sportsmanship, understand what a uh, good work ethic, work ethic looks like. Uh, you have community service, and then you really build lifelong friendships. So once again, if you're interested, stop by to see Mrs. Daxton in D11. All right. Today in history, September the 3rd, Sunday, September the 3rd, 1919, President Woodrow Wilson embarked on a tour across the United States to promote the American membership in the League of Nations, an international body that he hoped would help solve international conflicts and prevent another bloody war, world war like the one from which the country had just emerged, World War I. The tour took an enormous toll on President Wilson's health. The tour's intense schedule of 8,000 miles in 22 days cost him his health during the tour he suffered constant headaches and in late September he actually collapsed of exhaustion in Pueblo Colorado he managed to get back to Washington but suffered a near fatal stroke on October 2nd as he continued to recover uh, and advocate the passage of the covenant um, but the stroke and Republican Warren G Harding's election to the presidency in 1921 effectively ended his campaign for more information about the League of Nations and President Wilson, please visit history.com. This time, I would like for everybody to join me in reciting the Panther Promise to remind us of what it is to be part of Panther Nation. I will be respectful, I will be responsible, and I'll be a positive role model. Hey, everybody, that concludes our announcements for today. I want to thank you all for your attention. I hope that you have a very safe weekend. Please make sure that you are following safety protocols so that you can come back on Tuesday healthy and safe. So we will see you right back here on Creek TV Tuesday morning. Have a great day and a great weekend, everyone.